leverage. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, um, we are going to talk leverage um, on the Weibo platform. So if you have a margin account on Weibo, certainly you know that one of the advantages of uh, having a margin account is that you have leverage. Um, and, and what's leverage? So leverage is just um, an opportunity to uh, be able to trade with more money than you have in your account. So if, let's say you have $2,000 in your account, um, leverage can give you up to $4,000 um, to trade with. In that way, you can maximize your profit um, in the process. Um, the only downside is that you can also uh, um, increase your risk uh, of, of losing that money because if you lose that money, um, it's not just your money because you borrow that money from Weibo and then you have to pay back. Whereas if you just invest it with your own money and you lose it, that's on you. Uh, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, Weibo um, offers you leverage. So you have what you call day trading leverage, so intraday uh, uh, leverage, which means that between the hours of 8.30 Central Time when the market opens for me um, and 3 p.m., uh, I think even with extended hours, you are able to, to use leverage. So when it comes to leverage on Weibo, um, you have their overnight leverage and you have their uh, intraday leverage. So if you are trading, um, you know, you're doing day trading, um, you can you can do up to four times the amount in your account. So if you have $2,000, Weibo can give you up to $8,000 to trade within that day. Um, if you want to hold the position overnight, um, they, they, they give you up to uh, two times the amount that you have in your account. And so this uh, the leverage does vary by uh, the stock that you're trading. So it's not like if it's across the board. So each stock that you have on Weibo would have its own leverage. And Weibo, can, Weibo does show you what the leverage is on that stock. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to see uh, the leverage on each stock before you can trade it um, on the Weibo platform. It's pretty simple. Um, um, so let's jump right in and I'm gonna walk you guys through it and show you so that you can put that on your on you know on your layout or on your dashboard so that if you want to trade this stock you can easily just hover over it and see at what the leverage is for um, day trading and the leverage is for overnight to see if that's something that you're comfortable uh, doing so let's jump right in so basically once you log into the Weibo platform um, and again guys this is this is my personal setup um, you can um, also customize this setup to fit your uh, your particular needs so you don't have to um, do the exact same thing. But once you log in um, on this platform, on the Weibo web app application, what I want you to do is go down on their um, trade, the trade tab you see here. So um, on, on the left side, if you go down, I think number three, um, all the way down, you would see it says trade. So I'm gonna hover over it so you can see here. Once you click on trade, um, you have your dashboard like I have here set up. Um, so here's my watch list um, and here's my level two information. Here is my order entry form. Um, likewise, um, you know, here it says quote. So this is the one that I wanna show you guys um, today. Um, so you can actually move this around if you wanted to, but so so I have mine sitting right, right here. So. Um, so let me move it back in place. But here's how you can actually add this and then I'll show you how to read um, the, um, the leverage information. So if you go, if you go to widget uh, on the top uh, right corner here, you click on widget, it's gonna open up. You go to stocks um, and then click on quote. So that's gonna show you here on your screen. So you can move this and dock it any way that you want based on your own particular layout. Uh, again, this is my layout, it works for me. So find your uh, layout that works for you. But once you have this, um, most people always have the issue of um, this particular um, uh, uh, widget not matching all the, the other widget on the screen. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So um, let's say we, I'm gonna just put this down here for now. Notice that right here it's showing me ticker symbol AAPL, that's Apple. But on my screen here, I have IP, OB, right? So if I if I switch the ticket symbol here, let's say I switch it to Nike, um, notice that down here 
this uh this quote window is still showing me apple and why is that whereas everything is showing me uh, you know nike so the simple uh, issue is that there is um, um, a group setting that you have to do. So if you hover um, on this quote um, on widget, just hover over the gray minus sign, which says set group, you click on that. Um, I set my group to group one. So everything on my screen is one, 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 group one. So once you set it to group one, see now I switch to Nike. So I just wanna give you guys that little tip. Um, but once you have that, now this is where it gets interesting. So I'm gonna bring it up here so you guys can see. Again, you can move this window, uh, this uh, widget any way you want. So here at the bottom right corner, if you hover over this, it says NASDAQ total view. So this is where you have level two information. Um, so right now I'm subscribed, um, Weibo again, it's free. If you sign up uh, and deposit $100, you get, uh, you get a free stock and you get level two information. Um, and then if you hover over, you see the dollar sign, the yellow dollar sign in the middle, that's where you see leverage information. So right now it's telling me that for Nike, I have, um, for day trade, I have four times the leverage. So if I have $2,000 in my account, I can get four times what I have in my account. Um, and then overnight leverage is uh, two times. So I can, I can use 4,000 overnight. That means my account, and then you'll give me another two thousand dollars for me to be able to to trade overnight, which is which is awesome. So that's where you can see that. Um, so if you choose a different stock, so let's take for instance uh, Sumo. See right here, it shows me that there's no leverage for this particular stock. So I cannot do leverage on this stock. Um, this stock just started trading today. Maybe that's why. But see, there's no leverage. And then if you if you click another stock, um, let's say Tesla. Um, if Tesla loads. Okay, so right now if I click on Tesla, you can see that I have um, you know, uh, leverage here. So if I, if I hover over leverage, okay, look at Tesla. Tesla gives me two times um, uh, for day trading and two times overnight, which is different from Nike. Nike gives you four times overnight. Tesla gives you two times overnight. So, um, sorry, Tesla gives you two times day trading uh, and two times overnight, why Nike gives you four times day trading and two times overnight. So that's how you can actually figure out uh, what kind of leverage you have um, in, in, in the Weibo platform. So I, like I said, I do have this widget with me so that I can use it um, to trade. So when I get to a stock, I can just hover over this. It'll tell me what my leverage is before I can actually jump in and start um, trading. So basically leverage gives you an opportunity to take advantage of uh, the market so you can make more profit. But the downside of that is you can also lose more money. So if you take, uh, let's say, a, a 4x leverage, um, if you have $2,000 and you get 4x, that means you're up to about $8,000 to get in a position. That thing drops down $2,000. So whatever you're left with is that leverage and you owe that money if, the, if you were to lose and get out of your position. If you, you lose your $2,000, plus some of the money in the leverage and then you owe Weibo and you have to, to pay back. So be smart with leverage. Um, I would say use leverage mostly for day trading. Don't use it for swing trading, which is overnight. Um, it's very risky because you don't know which direction the market is gonna go overnight. Um, so be very, very cautious with that. That's my take. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Do you use leverage overnight or do you use leverage just for day trading um, like I do? Um, let me know again in the comment section. And again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because that's very important so that you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing and you're thinking, where do I start? Weibo is um, the platform that we recommend. So if you sign up and deposit $100, you get a free stock and also you get access to level two information which shows you the bid and the ask prices um, for stocks when you're trading so you know exactly when to get uh, in and out. And as always, guys, stay motivated.